Blessings and peace. Um, welcome to An Order of Compline by Trinity Episcopal Church in Elk Ridge, Maryland. My name is Brother Les Roberts, and either myself or Chris Paul will um, be leading An Order of Compline Monday through Friday night at 8.30 p.m., and either Mother Ann and Deacon, or Deacon Frank will um, do a morning prayer service um, or a prayer reflection at 8.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. Um, we'll get started in just one minute. If you have a Book of Common Prayer, we'll start on page 127. And if you don't, um, then you can always go to bcponline.org and go to the Table of Contents and under Daily Offices, um, the fourth one should be in order of Compline. We'll get started in just one minute. Hope you're having a blessed evening this evening. <clears throat> Once again, we're on Book of Common Prayer, page 127, for an order of Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 91, and it can be found on the bottom of page 129. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the de deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and a buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor the sickness that lies waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near to you. <clears throat> your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, 
and will be forever. Amen. Our book this evening comes from the book of Hebrews on page 132. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night, as by day, your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Continue on page 134. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. And give pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I ask for your intercessions, either silently or aloud, or you may type them into the chat box. This evening, we have healing prayers for Brother Michael, Fran, and John. And we ask for strength for Joanna Lee. This evening I'd like to actually say a prayer for our enemies. O oh God, the Father of all, whose Son commanded us to love our enemies, lead them and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your good time enable us to all stand reconciled before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to say a prayer for our parish in Trinity Episcopal Parish in Elkridge, Maryland. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to say a prayer for monastic orders and vocations tonight. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, you became poor for our sake that we might be made rich through your poverty. Guide and sanctify, we pray, those whom you call to follow you under your, the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. 
especially the Order of St. Francis, that by their prayer and service they may enrich your church, and by their life and worship may glorify your name, for you reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'd like to say a prayer for those affected by the coronavirus. O oh God, of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who may be in any way affected by the outbreak of the coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken. Relieve their pain and restore them to the gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for common good and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these pr prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and the unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Let us continue on the bottom of page 134. Guard us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, with whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enliven the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Well, thank you for being with me tonight for this Order of Compline. Once again, this is uh, Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. Either myself or Chris Paul will be um, leading this um, for Trinity Episcopal Church in Elkridge, Maryland. And either Mother Ann or Deacon Frank will hold a morning prayer service at 8.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. Um, God bless you and God keep you. Amen.